a lot of people are uh, looking for this. <laughs> looking for this? Yeah. And, and I appreciate that. I just, I just think you're gonna have a hard time maneuvering around. No, I get it. I do. Okay, too much happened at this car show to put it all into one title. So I'm gonna break it down with you guys. Okay. So first thing happens when I show up. Uh, the phones come out naturally, and this guy asks if I'm the dude that you know from online. So, once I finished pulling in, you won't believe this because I couldn't believe it either. Once I finished pulling in, I got on my car, and as soon as I get on my car, this guy tells me to come over, okay? And I thought I did something wrong. Um, and and he says, hey, cool car. I, I, I have a Zimmer as well. And he takes me to his shop, and it turns out he has one of the later model years similar to mine. Um, and I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that I found a person in Minnesota with the same car. He couldn't believe it either. Um, he showed me his amazing garage, his crazy collection. I, my personal other favorite was the Scooby-Doo uh, mystery machine. I said, if you ever want to sell that, let me know because I would like to get my hands on the Scooby-Doo mystery machine. Um, so, so here's what it looked like. Uh, his is a 2007. Uh, mine's a 2011. His does not have the Coyote uh, motor in it. Mine does. Um, and yeah, so I thought that was really cool to... Cause I wasn't even sure I wanted to go, and I I ended up having a good time. And that was a really cool... It was a really cool meeting... It was really cool meeting him and hearing his story and stuff and chatting with someone else who had a later model Zimmer. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen at all. Um, so somebody ended up breathing on my car or bumping into it and it set off the alarm which personally I don't care if somebody uh, bumped into it or whatever I don't care um, but I'm more so embarrassed that my car alarm was going off uh, at this car show well luckily I happened to be coming back from talking to the Zimmer guy and heard it and and uh, luckily was able to stop it after about uh, a minute of it just sitting there doing this beeping um so I got to, so this is one of my followers, and I got to chop it up with a lot of my followers there, which is cool. Uh, I talked to the people the entire time, um, and so I let him come in and, and spin the block with I'm gonna me. be driving home. So I let him, you know, do his video stuff from the inside, and you know, thinking that people will send me stuff. And hey, that happened. I got a lot of great uh, photos sent over to me from from people within the community who took pictures of the whole thing. It's it's very difficult car to photograph and have it look good i will i will say that speaking from experience um so this is how not to leave a car show and i feel bad about this hey, send, because send I'm, me these. <laughs> I'm distracted right uh this test this 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 prius is in my blind spot and i leave and I, I peel off a little faster than i want to to be respectful but either way it sounds good doesn't it <laughs>